Hey guys, welcome to the front. I hope you're ready for this awesome ride, so let's get started. New videos premiere every Sunday at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, so make sure you subscribe. Turn on notifications so that you're always in the know. And you can get notified every time I upload, and you can be part of the hashtag notification squad. Also, follow me on Twitter at toasted underscore six for announcements and to also be in the know, because you can never get enough information. This was the basis of the Killa Order, which would have been executed in Japanese concentration camps during World War II if the atomic bombing of Nagasaki and Hiroshima didn't happen. But it did. Which was good. Well, 123,000 military and civilian prisoners would have died if the atomic bombs weren't dropped, but that's for another time. Now, how would these 123,000 prisoners have been killed? Women internees, children, and nuns were to be given poison rice. Internee men and Catholic fathers to be shot and burned. POWs to be marched into the jungle to be shot and burned. Sick and weak to be left at the camp to be bayoneted and the entire camp to be destroyed by fire. Not to leave any traces, that's the big thing right here, and this may be why the order was made towards the end of the war, as the invasion of Japan was imminent. If all the POWs are dead, then you can't get in trouble for doing anything if no traces were left behind. The Japanese may have tried to sweep this all on the rug so nobody could know about the horrific crimes that were made against these prisoners, but we know what happened. So. What's the ending to this? Well, most Japanese war crimes simply got swept under the rug. This really came to rise in the 1990s as war crimes became the buzz and most people weren't punished. This may be due to the fact that the US needed allies early during the Cold War or simply to appease current Japanese economic and commercial interests. Quick side note, those 123,000 military and civilian prisoners that would have died if the atomic bombs weren't dropped doesn't include all the Chinese prisoners that were already killed. Millions of Chinese were captured and killed once the war ended though, there were no soldiers left to release. And it's kind of morbid to think about this part, and I wouldn't doubt it though because Japanese hated and still do hate the Chinese, so that clash still exists, but just a side note, that's a lot of people. That's really all I have for you guys today. There isn't a ton of information out here for this, but there are a few amazing sources like theprisonerlist.com, and I will include their link down below, as well as the other amazing resources I use to help me make this video. Also, if you guys have any suggestions that you guys would like to give me, go down below and post a comment as constructive criticism is always appreciated. Also, if you liked the video, well, like it. But that's really all, and I'll see you in a moment's time.